accelerometer. Set up with a empty paper towel tube. Some packing tape or scotch tape will work. A pencil, two rubber bands, two paper clips, a few weights. I used heavy duty nuts, uh, lead sinkers, fishing sinkers will work, and a knife or scissors. Start out with rubber bands. Pull out some scissors and cut each rubber band in half. Now we have two lengths of rubber bands. Take the two ends and tie them together. Next, take the paper towel tube and hold a little bit over the end of the rubber band, a little bit over the end, and stretch it down and don't pull it out tight and don't have it flopping around, but pull it just so the slack's out, and then hold it with your thumb. And now, about a quarter inch from where the end of the rubber band is, make a little mark. Now, take your scissors, cut all the way around the tube at the mark. Next, go about an inch in, doesn't have to be exact. And a little bit over, like that. And we're going to cut a big window that looks something like that. So grab the scissors and start cutting. The tube should look like this when you're done. Next step, take a paper clip and unfold it to get it as straight as you can. Lay it across the top of the tube and bend it. Now bend it again. Now it should fit right over the top. Just like that. Now, get a piece of tape. And wrap it around the paper clip. Now, that could be sort of tough. The paper clip is going to want to move around. Now I'm going to cut the tape a little bit because I have big tape so it doesn't cover up my window. Press it down. If you need to, you can put more tape. There. That is one side of your accelerometer. Tie one end of the rubber band to the paper clip. Single knot should do. You might want to double it up. Just needs to be able to hold. Mine is. And drop the other end down inside of the tube. Now you can see it in the window. Now I'll take the nut again. Take the nut, put it over the end. And we'll loop the end back around the other way. And you may need to move it so you get it to the center. Take the other paper clip, straighten it out, and repeat for this side with the same thing you did on the other side where you bend it. Bend it again. And then tape it down. Now, stretch this end of the rubber band up to this side. And 
tie it around this paper clip. So there's our accelerometer. Now we need to calibrate it. First, hold it vertical like this and watch where the weight falls and put a little mark right on the side and make it say 1 G. And that stands for one gravity pushing down on the weight. Now turn it over and make another mark right where it falls. Turn it back over and call that negative 1 G. Now take your another paper clip unfold it a little bit take another nut put it on the paper clip fold the paper clip so the nut will stay now take the paper clip and push it right on through the nut Bend it a little bit so it'll stay. And now let it hang a little bit. And make another mark. And we're going to write Pew G. Now flip it over. You may have to mess around a little bit with the paper clip so that it hangs straight. Alright, that looks good. Make another mark, turn it back over, and call that negative 2G. Now keep repeating the process. And when you're done, take all, all the nuts off. You'll keep adding every nut for every mark. So for 3Gs, you'll add another nut. So then when you're done, you'll get a bunch of tick marks and it goes down 1G, 2G, all the way down to 5G, or as many as you want. And then when you're done right in the middle, you can put a mark between the 1G and the negative 1G and write 0. So that is the finished accelerometer and you can take that on a pogo stick or on a roller coaster at an amusement park and you can see how many G's are being pulled.